There's a touch of the James Bond baddie lair about this place, but the work going on here could play a vital role in finding prostate cancer using something you'd normally find in a mobile phone. So that is it. That's, That's the it. sensor. That's what we're putting all this effort into making. They're developing a new testing device for the disease because the current method is so hit and miss. Hello, Mark. How, How are, are you? I'm very well. Good to see you again. Good. And you? So we're just going to do a PSA for you today. Called a PSA test, it takes five days and the results are often confusing. And I heard exercise as well can increase your count. Yes, physical activity, um, having an infection at the time, um, things like riding a bike. So once you're in position, you just fire it. Surgeon Vincent Nana Pragasam's already invented this low-cost device for safer prostate checks. So this dark area here mimics a tumour. A tumour, yeah, if you like. They practice on a model. The prostate is the blue lump. He calls the cancer a two-headed beast. One type spreads quickly and is lethal, the other sleepy and may never need treating. But current tests struggle to tell them apart. What we found is that there is a sizable number of men who actually were, gave, were being treated because they were considered to have potentially lethal disease, who probably would be fine by monitoring for long years to come. Now, in terms of an estimate, I, I suspect that probably about one in five men may be treated for cancers they don't actually, that will never actually cause a problem, or at least not yet. Vincent is leading a multi-skilled Cambridge team, including engineer Andrew here, to find new ways of fighting the disease. And they've come up with a new testing device. So, Andrew, this is a silicon wafer, is it? That's right. So this is what we're making our devices on, and then we'll dice that wafer up into lots of little chips. This is just water, but eventually your GP will simply put a pinprick of your blood on top of the adapted chip and it can spot signs of cancer by weighing the molecules inside. Critically, it should be able to distinguish between the lethal form and the slow-growing type you can potentially leave alone. It could be ready in just five years' time, cost a quarter of the price of the current test and give you immediate results. If you can have a test which is in a GP surgery, which is really cheap, really easy, where GP is sat there with a patient and saying, you know what, just be on the safe side, let's look and see if you've got this. Probably not, but let's try it. And the cost and ease of doing this is just so low and so easy, it makes that practical. By the time the NHS is 75, the first step to finding prostate cancer may be just a case of putting a drop of blood on this little thing. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.